Hello ladies and gents, this is Thais again at your service. In this video, I will be discussing my current mining profitability and if it's still worth mining considering that ETH 2.0 is coming very soon. I will also be discussing if it's still worth building a new mining rig considering that the current GPU price is still very hot right now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button as well so you'll be updated with my upcoming videos. Alright, if you haven't seen my previous videos regarding my mining rigs, here is the link for it. Or you can just watch them after this video and I will leave a link under the description. So, I have been mining for months now and started just before the prices of all cryptocurrencies skyrocketed to the moon and the prices for new and old GPU went crazy. So over the few months, I have built three mining rigs. My first rig is composed of 12 GTX 1060s. My second rig is composed of 6x MSI GTX 1080 Ti's. And lastly, my third rig is composed of 5 Inno 3D GTX 1080 Ti's and 1 RTX 2070. My overclocking settings for my GTX 1080 Ti's is 70 to 75 percent power limit 150 to 220 core and zero mem using f peel and hashing 40 to 44 mega hash per second while consuming 170 to 180 watts my rtx 2070 settings is 70 percent power limit zero and core and max and mem hashing at 40 to 45 mega hash while consuming only 140 watts. And lastly, my GTX 1060's settings are 70% power limit, 150 core and one, uh, 550 mem and hashing at 20 to 23 mega hash per second while consuming 85 watts. After days of twerking and my rigs have been running smoothly now for months. I also tried different miners and finally settled with Phoenix Miner on my inner 3Ds and 1060s while my MSI is running with T-Rex Miner. Okay, now let's go and head to whattomine.com and see our current profitability. Alright, so I do have 11 1080 Ti so we can just input it here. It actually says here that we should be using 125 core and plus 500 for mem, but actually I'm not doing that. Okay, and I've got 12 1060s and one 1070s, and let's hit calculate. And it says here to have 739 uh, mega hash per second, but actually I got with all of my uh, good overclocking settings, I am getting around 780 to 790 mega hash per second total. So let's just average it to 785 and leave the wattage because that's mostly I'm actually using less than that. But if I add all of my fans, my monitor, all of it, it would actually go around like I'm using uh, around 3500. Yeah, 3500 watts uh, from the wall. Okay, now let's hit calculate and see how much we should be getting for all of our rigs. So it says here on Ethereum, we should be getting uh, $52. $52.55 worth of Ethereum or 0 0.0248 of Ethereum. So $52 is really, really good still. So if we go to calculate and compute it for weekly profit, 52 times 7, we would be getting $364. Or, and if you times it to 4 to make it a month, that's 1.456 USD. And the next one is from NiceHash using E, which... Night's hash also is getting us $50. That's really good. 
And the Raven coin. Raven coin is the third one, which is really good as well. And that's $40. With all of this news about ETH 2.0 going live, which essentially will stop ETH mining, the real big question is, is it still worth mining? Well, for me, and this is not a financial advice, and I am just another, another guy on YouTube, I will be continuing to mine ETH until I cannot gather anymore. That's because I am really bullish on ETH and how it will change the current financial system. And with all that said, once ETH 2.0 goes live, it will only increase the value of ETH itself. Let us also not forget that although it is a massive step going live with the ETH 2.0, this upgrade had been long been delayed and no one really knows when it will happen. If it does happen, then perfect. But if it will not, but if it will get delayed again for another month, a few months or another year, then it's good too. I can continue mining and accumulate. Now for the second question, shall I just buy the asset itself and invest rather than mining? Yes, it's definitely true for some people. If you don't have any mining rig yet and is planning to join the mining group, you should consider your end term goal, your ROI and your strategy. That said, my only strategy is to huddle and invest for a long term, meaning I am sort of DCIing on a profit while mining. That's because I will never be selling my mind ETH and will only huddle and stake it for an extra interest. With my current profitability, I am getting almost three times more each month over my electric bill. For an example, rather than me spending, let's just say $500 a month to buy ETH, I am already getting $1,500 worth of ETH. It only makes sense for me to just keep mining until I cannot anymore. Third question I want to address is, what will be my strategy after I cannot mine ETH? Well, that is another thing I don't really think as much until it happened. And if it does happen, I can only think two strategies. First is to look for another crypto to mine, Ravencoin maybe, or sell my GPUs. I know how hot the market of GPUs right now, even with these old GPUs I've got, and I could sell these definitely for twice as much as I got them, but I know I will get more ETH than just selling them back to fiat right now. I hope you guys like this video and please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ping the notification button as well. Thank you guys for watching, keep smiling, stay positive and I will see you again next time. Dags out. See ya.